up a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. For all my new subscribers out there, my name's Ethan, and this is what we're diving into today. This is part two on the uh, 500C International Bulldozer Rebuild. So, in this part, we're going to fix this crack here in the side of the block. So, I'm going to get y'all all dialed in here, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, she's still leaking some water out, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and drill this hole first and get all the water I can out of it because I imagine these need a pretty good um, pretty clean surface to bond correctly so this is the drill I sent two of them to me that we're gonna run to drill and tap everything <clears throat> pour all that water out here hitting the ground there I'll try to blow some compressed air in there and try to flush all this junk out of here. It may take a couple of minutes. I'll bring y'all back up to speed when I get it all out. Okay, all right. Hopefully I got a decent setup here. I probably don't. So, got their tap on here. Put a little tap fluid on there. They say to use theirs because it doesn't affect the sealant. So. And this drill is going to be extra crappy today. I have to swap drills here. Tell you what, the chuck on this drill has been a joke. Wish I had a battery from my old DeWalt. That thing there would, wouldn't give up. Let's put a little more tappy fluid on here. Now, I see the crack. You may can see it there in the thread wall. So I may have to go down and up with a one as well. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to go ahead and put one in real quick. We got to put some of their sealing compound. How much to put on there, but I'm sure it needs more than a little. I say this is anaerobic sealer, so it seals from the presence of no oxygen. So we'll find out. The way these things work is you load them up and they shear off at a certain point, like that. And there you go. Got the first one in there. And then you grind that down a little bit and we'll put one right next to it. That's pretty neat, actually. So let me grind that down a little bit. It went in there pretty hard.
Okay, something like that. Pull that grinder up a little bit. Then we drill one right next to it. Let's see how good this works. Junk all over this thing. Come on, piece of junk. Work for me, baby. Pretty deep. All right. I'll blow all that off. And we'll tap it. Mm. Put a little of their tap stuff on there. Tap does cut pretty, pretty well. All right, get us another pin. Put some of the sealant on there. Much to put on there, but I'm gonna put enough. Starter. All right. There you go. And we'll just keep repeating this until we get all the way across. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, I'll probably set y'all up in the stop motion. If I if I hit a problem, I'll let you know. But yeah, that should work.
I've got to admit, that took a while, but it looks good. Like, I'm impressed. Like, I'm just going to blend all that in, and I'm going to paint it and everything. The only thing is, when I drilled this first hole right here, I saw a crack running up and down. So I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm going to stick a pin on the top and the bottom there. Because uh, I got a few extra, and I don't want this thing to leak. So these are I'm going to do a little bit differently. They they included a spot facer for like thicker material, and it's definitely thicker right there where that web is. So I'm going to try it. So wish me luck here. Let's hope we get the rest of that crack. All right. About to grind that down just a scotch. Let me look in there really good and see if I see any crack. Shit. Yep. I think I see a little bit of crack there. Actually, I think that's the thread. Yeah, I believe that's right. That's the thread from the other pin. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, I think we're good. So, we're just going to drill and tap that. It's pretty thin right there, so I'm not going to spot face that one after all. We'll just... We'll do like I've been doing the rest of them. Yeah, hitting something. I don't know if that's deep enough or not. Oh, just have to try it and see. like that. Damn. Alright. I'm going to have to relieve that, uh, that shoulder a little bit. So, right, we'll, uh, I was worried about that. Blow that out. spot face on there after all. Don't need much. Just need a little bit. Damn. go with that there's a guide that you're supposed to put on here but I figured the guide would get in the way so we're gonna try that blow that good again hopefully I didn't screw something up just now put some more of the good stuff in there some more on here Cross thread now. Oh gosh, I had to run the tap back in there. Let's run the tap in there. Good lord. I may have screwed up, guys. I may have screwed up.
One more time, one more time. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, went all the way to the shoulder. Good. Whew. Maybe I didn't screw up too bad. Oh. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm pressuring that glow on that motor. Think somebody dusted it? Yeah, I was putting that air filter in. Uh -huh. The top hose kind of loose on the turbo. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay, well, that went in better than I thought. I really want to drill another one right here because that cracked like it went both up and down. So, yeah, you only die once, right? Let's do it. I think that's plenty deep. I don't know why I hadn't hit anything yet. Blow it out good and look. Oh, I see. It's got like a really big web there. All right. Well, that looks good in there, guys. I don't see any crack, but I can tell. Oops, sorry if my head got in the way. I don't see anything. That's good. All right, I'm going to run the spot face in there a little bit. Want a little bit of shoulder. A little more. A little more. I think that'll work. Oh yeah, that looks great. Grab my tap. Good stuff on here. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I seated in there real good. All right. Grind that down. We should be done. I'm gonna go ahead when I get that one ground down. I'm gonna grind all these down. We'll clean it up a little bit and texture it.
out, I'd have, should have blended that a little bit better. But man, that don't look bad at all. I think you could put a little paint on that and you never know. Wow. Well, proof of the pudding is in the eating, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this dude magnafluxed or if we'll try to pressure check it somehow. But guys, I think that's that's fixed. We'll find out. We will find out. All right, guys, let me bring y'all up to speed of what I got here. So I got my artificial head on here. Nothing but a piece of, I guess, 3 16 plate. These are wrist pins out of different engines. I got some plates to shim them up, so I got the head bolts in. And I ain't got anything torqued down or nothing, but it's just enough so that I can put the head gasket on there and try to get a halfway decent seal. I got the, where the, uh, oh, this ain't the thermostat housing because it's over here in the water manifold. I don't know, there was some kind of hole right here for the, something to do with the water pump, I think. I got it all blocked up best I can. And I got a homemade manifold here. And I got some soapy water and we're going to see if we can get this crack to leak. So we're going to put a little pressure on it. According to the gauge, got like 22 psi around there. My head gasket's leaking pretty good, but at least we can see if we got a leak. I don't know about y'all, that looks pretty good to me. This is soapy water, just to show you. See my air line leaking there. You can see it blowing out real good there. Let's up the PSI a little bit. Let's try to go to let's try to go to 30. Might be a little much here. There's 30. Three times the pressure, it's almost 40 if you can tell. On light. So, I feel comfortable with that. I don't feel anything there. So, them little things work good. Yeah. Man, it took longer to do all this than it did to actually do all the lock stitching stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, anyways, guys, that's probably going to wrap this little project up. I'll get all my mismatched stuff off of here, but that makes me feel good that that worked. So, yeah, well, I went ahead and silicone the head gasket on there just to double check. You can see there's no airline on here now, and she's holding right at 40. So, I'll come back in the morning and see if, if it's still holding any kind of pressure. But uh, yeah, that seemed like that's gonna be okay. But uh, yeah, if it ain't if it ain't leaking external or internal, you can definitely tell by that right there. But uh, I'll come back in the morning and check on it. If y'all want to know where you can get these things, I'll put a link down in the description where you can find them. And if you got any questions or anything like that, as always, they're welcome here. And uh, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Till next time. I'll, we'll see y'all next time. Take care from Classic Work.